Hi, it's Ollie from FlightComp, and I wanted to give you a quick look at the Mebo Mini Terminator, which is right here. And the Mini Terminator is a 60 inch um, slope model, or uh, you can electrify it if you want to put a uh, motor in the nose. And it would make a really good electric conversion because there's no servos under the canopy for the tail. Um, the tail servos are actually mounted in the tail and that's quite a cool feature of the model. So um, I'll just give you a quick look around the model and show you some of the, de some of the details of the Mini Terminator and um, maybe one day down the line you'd be interested in one. So the Mini Terminator or Mini T um, is, si is 60 inch span and it has a four servo wing and uh, two servos for the V-tails. Um, I've built three or four of these. I think I've built four of these for customers and they're consistently uh, very high quality and the fit and finish of the pieces uh, are very good. Um, it's a very standard build. Uh, there are a few uh, unique features to the model and I'll, I'll just go over some of the basics of, of the build. Um, first of all, the control horns for the wing surfaces are G10 machine fiberglass and they're not pre-installed in the wing and the slots aren't um, cut. So you do have to uh, use a small file or a Dremel with a really small bit and cut the slots and the surfaces for your control horns and then obviously glue them in. And that's really the only um, kind of um, hard part of the build really. Everything else is super straightforward. Uh, the tail, as I said before, the servos are actually mounted inside the tail and that's a really cool feature because if you make a plug and play kind of arrangement with the connectors in your tail servo you have a really um, portable airplane something that can disassemble very quickly into a small package and fit in a bag or your vehicle and you can travel around with it quite easily uh, put it in a backpack or something to get to a remote slope, slope site so I, I used a three pin uh, Deans connector on each side of the, the V-tails to make a plug in and play uh, V-tail and it's really easy, they just pop right out and you can see I have uh, the male side of the Deans connector basically glued into, this, into the tail and I have the female side bonded into the fuselage and Mebo makes a sort of a pocket in these tails to fit a eight millimeter thick servo. And I found that really the, the best fitting servo for these tails is a, DSO, a Hyperion DSO-9 or one of the various clones, uh, Airtronics, Groppner, what have you. And it fits extremely well. And the easiest way to mount the servo is just scuff it up and glue it in or wrap some tape around it and glue it in. Um, I actually used screws to glue this in, but it was a real pain in the butt. And I don't think I could probably, I don't think I can get these servos out anyway after the fact, so I think gluing them in would be um, the best bet. They give you all the hardware for the model, the clevises and the, the rods and everything for the wing and the tail, so that's really nice. Um, the V-tail is pretty standard, it's got some gap seal on there, and uh, the quality is really nice, and the fit is, is, is about as good as you can get um, for, any, for any molded model. And you can see that the tails, you know, with the connectors, they go in and out really easily. So if you take your time on the connectors and do it right, you'll have a, a really um, easy to assemble model. And the wings, you know, are much the same way. They use a uh, multiplex style plug. Uh, the plugs aren't supplied. You have to supply your own, no big deal. But the, the pockets and the fuse and the wing line up really nicely. Just a, a little bit of minor sanding with a file to get those to um, fit up real nicely. You can see um, the wings got metal pins here for, for alignment and the uh, multiplex plug in there. Uh, I used Spectrum, I think there were 6020 servos. The, the customer specified those servos and he, he supplied them. And they're actually a really good fit in these wings. So uh, you might want to look into those servos for this model. You can always uh, also use uh, Metal Gear DSO-9s or um, other sort of mini thin wing uh, servos like maybe uh, MKS-6125 minis or KST-135s. Um, 
This model came out at 34 ounces, and I think the, the range is probably going to be 32 to 36 ounces, ready to fly, depending on your equipment and your wiring and how much glue you put into it and all that. So it's, it's fairly light for a 60 inch sort of slope racer model, which would make it a, a very good all around model. Um, here's my fuselage installation. There is a tray in here just to mount um, the receiver onto and kind of jig the battery in so it doesn't move around. Um, you don't really have to put a tray in it because you don't have any servos, but I find that it gives the front of the fuselage a little bit of strength. So I always put a tray in these. And there's plenty of room in here um, to put a ballast tube too if you want to put a ballast tube in there. Um, so that's uh, a nice feature of the model. And again, um, because there's no servos here, you can easily get a small motor and your flight pack and a speed control and everything in here. Standard canopy and the hold down um, is pre-installed. And it's sort of the trademark Amiibo style shaped canopy which I think looks pretty good. Um, fuselage is fiberglass with some carbon toe reinforcement. The wings are all carbon, um, which is really nice. And the tails are glass with a little bit of carbon reinforcement. Um, again, all the hardware is supplied, the clevises, the linkage, the threaded rods, little nuts and bolts and things like that. And it's really a quick, easy build and um, it's a really good looking model. Um, I haven't flown one myself, but I hope to fly one soon. And uh, there's, there you go, there's a quick look at the Mebo Mini Terminator. If you want more information on the Mini Terminator, you can check out MeboModelli.com or uh, go to FlightComp.com and I'll provide some links uh, to all the information in the description below this video. Thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you next time.